Hey, it's Mike from DestinyGuitar.com, and today we're going to be showing you how to play the F major 7 chord. And this is a very cool chord. I like to call it sometimes a little bit of a secret chord because it's something that can be used as a substitution chord for the regular F. And the F chord by itself is a, is a somewhat threatening or, <laughs> or a scary chord for many people. I'll be honest, it's uh, been scary for me before. And uh, especially when I was starting to play, I found my hand would cramp up. I found it was difficult to move to. My chord transitions were not smooth. It was just, it was just rough. And so this F major seven uh, can be used as a substitution most of the time, not all of the time, because that, that note that we're adding, that seven note, doesn't necessarily work with all the music uh, that you might be playing it with. But it can be used as a substitution chord for an F. Also, there are times when a major seven chord is called for in the music, and that's exactly what you want to play. You're not using it as a substitution, but you're using it because it was written into the music that way. Or you might be writing your own music, in which case you might want to write some music with this F major seven in it because really it's just a beautiful chord. All right, let's get right to it. The F major seven in its first position is a four string chord although I am going to show you a couple of things that I do, which is a little tweak on it, if you will. And, uh, and then secondly, I'm going to show you another position to play this in, which is in the A major 7 movable chord form. If you didn't catch that, don't worry. You'll catch it when we get there. And then finally, one thing I'm going to tell you is that if you learn this F major 7 in this first position, that is or can be a movable chord form and it makes for some of the coolest sounding chords that you'll ever hear on the guitar. So let's get right to the close up and I'll show you how to play this chord. All right, the F major seven chord is played by taking your third finger and placing it on the third fret of the fourth string. You take your second finger and you place it on the second fret of the third string, just like this. And then you'll take your first finger and place it on the first fret of the second string. And if it looks like my pinky is playing something, it's not, it's just, it's just hanging out here, uh, tucked away or off to the side. And we're leaving this top E string open. That's actually what makes this a major seven because that's the major seven note right there. And so here is the F major seven chord. We play it by starting on this uh, fourth string. So there you have it. There is the F major 7 chord and it is much easier to play than a traditional F. Uh, one way to play the F is by taking this finger here and laying it down and fretting out this top F note and you may have seen that before as a variation on the F. Which requires a lot more hand strength, a lot more pressure. Barring that is, uh, is a little bit more difficult. So instead We'll just raise that up and we'll play that note right there on that first fret of the second string and leave this open and we have our F major 7. Okay, now just a, a note on the theory behind this chord before we jump to those other positions and, and options that we have. Uh, an F major chord is uh, is played by using the notes F, A, and C. And in order to create a major seven chord, we're, we're actually adding a note to the chord. So rather than a, in music, rather than having a three note chord, we've now created a four note chord. And in this chord, that means that we've added an E on top of it. And so when you're fretting the F major seven in this position, you're actually starting down here with an F, and there's an A, and there's a C, and right on top here is your E. It's one of those unique chords on the guitar that actually follows the pattern of what you might see on a piano. Okay, so sometimes I, uh, sometimes when I want this major seven chord to ring out and be a little stronger, rather than just being a four string chord, which can sometimes sound a little wimpy, and I want that low end, I'll do something and, and I'm just going to show it to you because you may want to practice it or, or see if you can pull this off. 
If your hand is large enough, you can wrap your thumb around the back of the neck and actually fret out this F note right here with your thumb. Now, I don't play the A when I do this because in order to fret this, my thumb's got to be wrapped around quite a ways and I have a tendency to mute that note right there. That's no big deal because I do have the A elsewhere in the chord. But if you were able to play that A, it wouldn't be so bad really, but it would sound like this if I play this F on the bottom with my thumb and then play the rest of these notes in the major seven chord exactly the way that we just looked at. A lot more robust, a lot more bottom end. I do like it with that muted A though, I will tell you. I think it just sounds better. Now, you may see friends or, or people that you play with or others, you may see them placing their pinky down on this note every now and then. And that actually becomes an F add 9. Instead of the 7, you're putting a 9 on top of the chord. Uh, so it is a different chord, but it's also another good substitution chord. I can even wrap my thumb over and play uh, play that 9 chord with that, that F on the bottom. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> okay. Now the cool thing about this F major 7 chord is it just makes it so easy when you're playing to uh, transition from uh, an F to a C, which are frequently played together because they're in the same key no matter which way you're playing it, either in the key of F or the key of C. And, uh, and so it's real simple. You just take these two fingers and you move them down one string and you have your C chord. And then if you've learned how to play a G chord in this position, you'll see how easy it is to jump to that G. So here's that major seven. makes for a, a just an easy chord transition. It's very nice. Okay, so now what we're going to do is show you the other way to play the F major 7 in its movable chord form and that is based on this A major 7 movable chord form and if you haven't learned how to play that then check out our other lesson on A major 7. But we're gonna slide this guy all the way up to the 8th fret. And so we'll take our first finger and play the F that is located on this 5th string, 8th fret. And then we'll take our 3rd finger and play the 10th fret of the 4th string. And then we'll take our 2nd finger and play the 9th fret here of the 3rd string. Then we'll take our 4th finger and we'll play the 10th fret of the 2nd string and we're going to not play this top string, we're just going to play these middle four strings. Now I did tell you that I was going to uh, explain how this is a movable chord. And if you were to, as with most movable chords, you do have a tendency to, to rather than, than playing them with your first few fingers, you've got to move down and shift this way. And if you were to play this chord F major 7 with instead these three fingers like this, just moving it around and taking your fourth finger and starting it off. You'll notice your first finger is free. That's so usually an indication that you can use it to bar and move up the neck. And if I were to just shift this one fret up and then use my first finger to play that note right there, then actually have myself a uh, an F sharp major 7. Move it up another half step. G major 7. Move it up another half step. G sharp major 7. I think you get the idea. Now one of the things I do like to do when I'm playing this movable chord shape, which is a, a, just a lot of fun and becomes really one of my favorite sounding chords on the guitar, 
is I like to wrap my thumb over, as I showed you earlier on that low F major 7, wrap my thumb over and play the root note, and then I have a tendency, as I said, to mute this, uh, uh, this fifth string with the fleshy part of my thumb. So in this case, uh, I just happen to be rooted on the seventh fret, and I'm playing this chord form, and it becomes a, uh, a B major 7, C major 7, See, just by moving it around, I can actually play different chords. Now, this is not an easy chord to play, I'll tell you right now. So if you're a beginner on the guitar and this is uh, looking a little intimidating, then uh, don't worry about it. Uh, this might be something that you jump to at some point in the future. And I'll be real honest with you, it took a lot of practice in order to get the muscle memory that that naturally placed my fingers in this position. That is not something that we uh, have to worry about when we're down here in this first position on this F major 7 chord because holding our fingers in this way is probably something that we've already learned by playing the C chord. So if you can imagine a C chord and you just move your fingers up a string, F major 7. <laughs> Okay, cool. There's your F major 7, and uh, it's a lot of information about that F major 7 there. You know, some chords are easy to show. They really have one common position and an alternate, and, uh, and so it's easy. Uh, chords that are played a lot, like the F, uh, have a lot of variations, and that's for a reason. Uh, it, it sounds different when you voice it in different places. And also, uh, some people have discovered some cool variations in hand positions over the years that enable us to play chords like the F in this alternate F major 7 position, which is super duper easy to play and very cool. So practice it and use it as a substitution chord if you want. Uh, but just again, listen very carefully to what's being played around you or what's being, what's being sung. Or if you have a harmony singer with you, be very careful if you're using it as a substitution because that seven might clash with the harmony that they're singing. Otherwise, feel free to just explore and have fun with it.